Welcome to a lesson on standard form and differential form of a first order differential equation. The objectives of this video are to define standard and differential form of a first order DE and also to write differential equations in both standard and differential form. The standard form of a first order differential equation is dy dx equals f of x comma y where dy dx appears on the left side of the equation. So for most first order DEs, we can write the equation in standard form by solving for dy dx. So once we have an equation in standard form, if we let dy dx equal m of x comma y divided by negative n of x comma y, the above standard form can be written in an equivalent differential form m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy equals zero. Now it's important to recognize that when writing a DE in a differential form, the differential form is not unique. However, if we ever get stuck, we can always let m of x comma y equal f of x comma y, and then let n of x comma y equal negative one. So using this, we can always write a first order DE from standard form to differential form. Let's take a look at our examples. We want to write two x y prime minus y to the third equals zero in standard form. So again, the main idea here is if we can solve this for y prime or dy dx, we'll have this in standard form. So if we start with two x y prime minus y to the third equals zero, let's go ahead and add y to the third to both sides of the equation. That would give us two x y prime equals positive y to the third. And now we can solve for y prime by dividing both sides by two x. So on the left side we have y prime equals y to the third divided by two x. If we want to, we can replace y prime with Leibniz notation or dy dx. So we'd have dy dx equals y to the third divided by two x. So now the first order differential equation is in standard form. Let's take a look at another example. Again, to write this in standard form, we need to solve this equation for y prime, which is here. So if we start with the given equation, if we want to solve for y prime, we need to start by adding four e to the three x y to both sides of the equation. So this would be zero, so we have e to the two x y prime equals four e to the three x y plus cosine x. And now we'll divide everything by e to the power of two x. So on the left side, this simplifies to one times y prime or just y prime. Here we have a common base so we can subtract the exponents. 3x minus 2x is x, so this simplifies to 4 e to the x y plus, and then for this term here, if we don't want this in fraction form, remember if we move this up to the numerator, it's going to change the sign of the exponent, so we can write this as e to the power of negative 2x cosine x. And now we have the differential equation in standard form. Now let's write some first order differential equations in differential form. So notice for our first example, this differential equation is given in standard form. We want to write this in differential form, which for reference is given down here below in red. And to do this, we're going to set dy dx equal to this quotient here, which means we'll set m of x comma y divided by negative n of x comma y equal to dy dx, which is equal to y squared divided by x plus y. Now remember, there are several ways to do this. One way is just to let m of x comma y equal the entire quotient here, and then let n of x comma y equal negative one. So let's start by doing that, and then we'll look at this another way. Again, we'll let m of x comma y equal this entire quotient, if we do that, then we can just let n of x comma y equal negative one. Notice if this was negative one, we'd have the opposite of negative one, which would just be one. 
So in differential form, we would have the quotient y squared divided by the quantity x plus y times dx. And then since n of x comma y is equal to negative one, we could put plus negative one times dy, or just minus one dy. This one, of course, is optional as well, equals zero. Let's take a look at another way of writing this in differential form. Again, we'll start by setting the quotient m of x comma y divided by negative n of x comma y equal to y squared divided by the quantity x plus y. We could just let m of x comma y equal the numerator y squared, and then let n of x comma y equal the opposite of the denominator, or the opposite of the quantity x plus y. Notice in this form, this quotient here would be equal to this quotient on the right. Which means another way to write this equation in differential form would be y squared dx, and then we'd have plus the opposite of the quantity x plus y dy, or just minus the quantity x plus y dy equals zero. So the main thing to notice here, when writing a first order DE in differential form, the form is not unique, though it would be equivalent to the equation in standard form. Let's take a look at another example. Notice this differential equation is not given in standard form, so the first step is going to be to write this in standard form and then convert it to differential form. So we'll have to start by solving this for y prime. So we have y times the quantity y squared y prime minus two equals x. I'm going to go ahead and distribute here. So we'll have y to the third y prime minus two y equals x. Let's go ahead and add two y to both sides of the equation. So we'll have y cubed y prime equals, this will be x plus two y. Last step, we'll divide both sides by y the third. So this simplifies to y prime, or dy dx, equals this quotient here, x plus two y divided by y the third. And now we'll go ahead and write this in differential form. Again, we'll go ahead and do this two different ways. We're going to start with m of x comma y divided by negative n of x comma y equals dy dx, which in this case is x plus two y divided by y the third. So again, one way that always works is to let m of x comma y equal the entire quotient here. And if we do this, then n of x comma y it's just going to be equal to negative one. So again, writing this in differential form, or this form here, we'll have our quotient, the quantity x plus two y, divided by y to the third, times dx, plus negative one times dy, or just minus one dy, or just minus dy, equals zero. But notice that's not the only way to do this. If we go back and take a look at this proportion here one more time, We could let m of x comma y equal just the numerator, x plus two y. If we did this, then n of x comma y would be the opposite of the denominator, or negative y cubed. So now if we write this in differential form, we would have the quantity x plus two y times dx plus negative y cubed times dy equals zero, or just minus y cubed dy equals zero. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this helpful.